He was jealous when people rejoiced and honored David's victories. Huh. Now what more can he have but the kingdom? I must do something. Master, our army has won again. When they hear the name of David, Philistines are getting scared. Yes, father. David must be made the commander in chief. He deserves it more than anyone else. Jonathan, do you know what you are saying? What happened, father? There is no one in this whole world like David, and I love him more than my life. You and your love, you idiot. Don't you know that he will snatch your crown? So what, father? It's obvious that after you, he should wear the crown and not me. Stop it. I will give him the crown he deserves. Seeing that his own son was praising David, Saul's jealousy grew further. He secretly hatched a plot to kill David. I am going to kill him today. Hmm. People will think that I lost my mind as usual. Mm. Huh? Master? <sighs> Father, what did you do? Huh? <sighs> Someone came at me with a sword and I threw my spear at him. That's all. It's okay, Jonathan. You know how the king sometimes loses his mind. Are you all right, David? I'm okay. Come, let's go. Ah! Saul's jealousy quickly turned into hatred. Saul made several other attempts to kill David, but all of them were futile. And one day, David, your life is in danger. My father is determined to kill you. Hmm. I know, but I don't understand. What have I done for my master to hate me so much? It's because he knows. Know what? My father knows that Prophet Samuel has anointed you and you will be the next king. <laughs> Me, a king? I'm running for my life here. You, David, you will be the king of Israel someday. But you must escape tonight. Hmm. I will, my brother. Thank you so much, brother. My life for your life. My life for your life. David decided to escape that night. And before leaving, he went to bid farewell to Mitchell. No, dear. Please don't leave me. Mitchell, do not lose heart. I will come back when your father changes his mind. He'll never change his mind. He has become so blind with jealousy. Let me also come with you. No, dear. That'll be too dangerous. You have to stay here. David waited until everyone was asleep and go out through the window. Lord God, protect him. Huh? King Saul has gone mad. How else can he levise such heavy taxes? It's like we are giving money for him to squander. I'm tired of paying these taxes. Being a king, that madman thinks that he can do anything. But what can we do? If we don't pay, then our lands will be taken. Did you hear what he did to the priest of Nob? What happened? Just because Nob gave a piece of bread to David when he was hungry, his whole family was slaughtered. Oh God, he has really gone mad. There is only one way out. What is it? Let's join David. He is a kind man and I'm sure he'll help us. Hmm, you are right. David is the only person who can help us from Saul. But how are we going to find him? Saul's whole army is unable to find him. I've heard that he's hiding in the cave of Abdullam. Let's go and look there. Discontent with Saul's rule and plagued with debts, many people came to meet David. There were about 400 people who came to seek the help of David. He took these men and taught them how to fight. David, please help us. That wretched king. He took everything, my land, my castle.
battle. He took everything. Don't cry. I will take care of you. Saul now became suspicious of everyone around him. Instead of waging war against the Philistines, he turned all his energy on chasing David. How long, David? How long are you going to fool me? My lord, David and his men are hiding among these rocks. They can get out only through this path. Hmm. We will catch him tonight. Hmm. It's getting dark. Let's stay here tonight. We can catch them in the morning. You can sleep inside this cave. We will keep a watch outside. When everyone was asleep, David entered the cave without anyone noticing him. When he saw that the king was asleep, he took the spear and the pitcher of water that were kept near Saul. He could have easily killed the king there. Instead, he just took these two things with him and left the cave. Anyone see my spear and the pitcher of water? No, my lord. We didn't take it. My lord! Huh? Who is that? My lord! David? Why are you hunting for me? Look, here is your spear and pitcher. If I could take this from you while you were sleeping, then I could have done anything to you at that time. Can't you still believe that I'm not your enemy? He's right. What have I done? David, my son, you are far more righteous than me. I will not harm you anymore. Saul realized his mistake and went back. But as soon as he reached his palace, he got a terrible news. <sighs> my lord, what is it? Master, the Philistines are here. What? Yes, master. An immense army of Philistines have camped in Ephek. Are you sure? Yes, master. I have seen them with my own eyes. Their army is huge. Don't lose your heart seeing their numbers. God will hand them over to us. Huh? No, Jonathan. Why are you looking worried, father? I think... I think this is going to be our last war, my son. Your mind is troubled again, father. Don't lose your hope. It's not that. I'm sure about this. Last night, Prophet Samuel came and told me that God has abandoned us. Father? Yes, my son. I'm sorry for everything that I did. What Saul told him was true. Israel lost the war with the Philistines. Saul's three sons, including Jonathan, were killed. Ah! <sighs> it's all over now. I... <sighs> I'm not going to let the Philistines catch me alive. Master! Who are you? I'm coming from the Israelite camp. We lost the war with the Philistines. And... And... And what? Tell me now. And the king and all his sons were killed. Israel is scattered to pieces now. What? No! When David heard the news, he mourned and wept until evening for Saul, for Jonathan and others. Even though Saul had tried to kill David, David honored Saul as God's anointed one until the end.